For Best Music Coach, my name is Dan and you are watching a Guitar Teacher's Reaction live and in real time. Hey chat, what's going on? Yes, we are live streaming the second part of my reaction to the Persona 5 original soundtrack part two. Now I've never heard this music before in my life, not ever once ever from time to time. I will pause in between the songs to give you little tidbits, feedback, my thoughts, impressions, and reactions to the music. You can support this channel by clicking like, subscribe, that little notification bell down there, and also join this channel as a member. Our number one best-selling music books are in the description below, as well as 50% off your first music lesson. Doesn't have to be for guitar, could be voice, piano, music theory, ear training, ukulele, etc. Now, with no more waiting, let's get this thing rocking and rolling with Tokyo Daylight. And it looks like Lynn is going to be singing on this one too. So I'm super, super stoked. Let's get this thing going. One last thing. Let me know in the comments what you think about this reaction, what you think about the soundtrack, and what you would like to see next. Let's get going. What a great way to start this stream off and to start this part two of the soundtrack off. So much fun. So while we didn't hear Lynn singing words, what we did hear Lynn doing is something we call scatting. What scatting is, is when a singer basically makes up syllables for the notes that they are singing. Ba -da -doom, ba -da -doom, ya -da -doom, ba -da -doom. See, I'm not saying like uh, Johnny ate pineapple today. Um, there's no words. I'm just making up little syllables. So just making up syllables as we go along. We call that scatting. So right there, we heard Lynn scatting. Sounded great. This next one is called Butterfly Kiss. Interesting.
So this was a first for this entire soundtrack that we heard. We heard a true metric modulation. Now in the chat and watching this video, you might be thinking, well, Dan, what on earth is a metric modulation? Well, what a metric modulation is, yes, Andre, in the chat, you're on the right track. It starts and ends in 4-4, four, four, but gosh, if in the middle, it doesn't go to 6-8. And what's really interesting is to hear how they, number one, get into 6-8. That's more just sort of a direct transition in, but then hearing how they get out of the 6-8 back into the 4-4 four, four, for the end is very interesting. So I encourage you guys to go listen to it. The boo dum boo da ba da dum ba dum just don't bana don't 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 scatting uh that part's four four and then the middle section that's in six eight and then when it gets back in the then we're back in four four this next one is called mementos quick question chat before we get into this uh have you heard if you put a memento into a bottle of coca-cola it can like spray memories everywhere uh just something i've heard mementos This is very uh, Modesky, Martin, and Wood. The organ sound at least reminds me. Okay, now if you guys like music that's sort of like this, but maybe gets a little bit more exciting and a little bit more involved, check out Medeski, Martin, and Wood. Incredible organ bass drums trio. Insane, insane, insane. They've also done some collaborations with other artists like John Schofield, I think maybe Snarky Puffy. Don't quote me on that one. I know for a fact they've done something with Sco. The next one is Have a Short Rest.
That one felt more like background music. A little repetitive, nothing really new introduced throughout it. Quick shout out to Dr. Toon. Thank you so much for that super fun, super sticker, super chat. Thank you for your support. Thank you for supporting this stream. This next one is called Suspicious Person. These pizzicata strings remind me of the Great British Bake Off. <laughs> Interesting. This next one is called My Homie. Man, I am a sucker for a good repetitive hooky little lick thing. This next one is called Wicked Plan. Oh yeah. Oh. 
So chat brought up an interesting point. I believe that was Flynn the Redhead said, okay, well, uh, he said he heard this. Well, Flynn said they had heard this uh, as possibly being acid jazz. Well, that's interesting. I was hearing this more as Funk Fusion. Now, before we get into this conversation, let's understand that all these labels are simply created by the music industry in order to sell music. That's the only reason genres exist. Art is art is art is art. Genre doesn't matter. If you like the art, you like the art. If you don't like the art, you don't like the art. The genre label is honestly inconsequential for the art. But in terms of actually labeling the genre for this, I would call this funk fusion because if you listen to bands like Modesky Martin and Wood, you go back and listen to Headhunters by Herbie Hancock, that sort of vibe is what's showing up here. So for my money, I'm calling this funk fusion, which is essentially funk that brings in more jazz harmony. Let's get this rocking and rolling with the next piece called A Woman. So, AC Alessandro was saying it couldn't quite identify that instrument in the back. Now, I'm not sure because there was a lot of instruments in the back. It sounded like there was organs. Whoa! -ho -ho! We're on to the next one, Sunset Bridge. Someone forgot to press pause. I wonder who that was.
Awesome, this next one is called Days of Sea Stars. Did we skip a song? Nope. It's been playing down. Oh, that's interesting. A Woman Another Version, track 9. I'll talk after this. This next one is called Beneath the Mask Rain. Yes. Been searching all along. Hmm. Come facing twilight and all my Lord. Without the clue. Without a sign. Without grasping it. The real question to be asked. Where have I been? I'm a chef chef too. At post masquerade. Hiding both face and mind, all free for you to draw. I'm a chef chef too. What else should I be? Please don't take off my mask, revealing dark.
What a treat to hear those vocals so clearly. I'm assuming there's no more vocals here, so I'm going to talk. In the chat, someone asked, what's that sort of um, echo on Lynn's voice? Well, that's something usually called delay. I've also seen it called repeat, but that's only been in Isotope products. And in delay, what it does is it takes a sound, and then it repeats the sound just like an echo. Over and over again, and then on top of that, there is, as chat correctly noted, a whole bunch of really tastefully used reverb. Now, reverb is, reverb is, it sounds like you're in a room. Let's say, like, you're talking in a big room, and you know how the sound just sort of sounds large. Reverb gives sound space. It also gives it depth. So the less reverb there is on a sound, the closer it sounds to you. And the more reverb there is on a sound, the farther away it sounds. So it's all about really just fine-tuning that reverb to have it sound like the, t the singer's not stuck down a well, but that gives the vocal space. Next one is called Crossroads. B-sharp music, great handle, by the way. And yes, uh, it is like cocktail jazz or piano bar jazz. Just easy listening. Suspicion.
There's a lot more atmospheric, sort of like chill vamps in this uh, soundtrack part two here, disc two. Something happening with the strings now. Not too much to say on that one. Pretty much just a vamp the whole way through. A little bit of extra stuff happening. This one is called High Pressure. Sounds like the very top of an orchestra hit there. You know, this sounds like a brake tweaker loop. Huh. Like from the Octopus Pack. You all know what I'm talking about if you use Azotope products for producing. That is no end endorsement, just an observation. This next one is called Price. I did not see that coming. Oh, I love that. Okay, so chat was asking if that sound was bagpipes. Now, to my ear, that sounded like a bagpipe patch with some extra distortion thrown on it or overdrive or saturation. Um, I don't know if that was a live bagpipe. It would be very interesting if it was. There's also some other instruments that that might have been. 
that are sort of reed powered bag type instruments it might have been the original because the bagpipe actually originated in the middle east it might have been one of those instruments unsure on that one this next one is called price another version Oh, we've heard that string look before. So what was really interesting in this piece of music was to hear the transition between the different key sounds. So we had sort of an organ, then what sounded like an electric piano, and hearing how those were used in a textural sense to give different feelings, to give emotion and movement to the music. Very interesting. This next one is called Keeper of Lust. This is very smoke on the water. The arrangement.
super cool. I really did love the beginning of that song. It had a very similar arrangement to Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple off the classic album Machine Head. So basically you have a guitar riff come in, and the guitar riff doing its thing, and the bass comes in and just um, 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 just pedals on the one using eighth notes. Very Smoke on the Water from an arrangement perspective. This next one is called Life Goes On. Oh, love that little bass fill in there. Love that funky fusion thing going on there. This next one is called Memories of Summer. Love that. I love when there's moments of anticipation where it's dump, and then back into it. Very sort of R&B ballad type of a mechanism, approach, technique. The next one is called Treading on Scorched Sand. Please. Ah. Oh.
loved, loved, loved the arrangement in that tracks. Treading on Scorch Sound, the groove, the tempo was perfection. Love those guitars working hard in the background. Man, what a delicious piece of music. This next one is called When Mother Was There. Another version. <laughs> Groove with bass. When Mother Was There, not another version, just When Mother Was There. Let's do this thing. <laughs> bow, 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 all of us. <laughs> Love that piano in the right ear.
Love that one. I think what was interesting there is to hear the groove. There's a lot of tracks on this entire soundtrack that just have a really nice groove. Uh, interesting guitar solo in there was pulled a little far back. Let's check out the next one called Alley Cat. Ah! Yeah, and on that... That was so tasteful. Okay, so from the organ to the piano, I love, 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 loved that key lead happening throughout the entire track. So tasteful. The tempo and the chord progression, even though it's not exact, was just reminding me of Steve Vai's For the Love of God. I don't know why. It was just uh, pinging around in the membrane, pinging around in the brain. The section was called Collapse. The Collapse of Wrath. And quick thank you to Aaron Dune. Or Dunny. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong there, bud.
doing that slap bass in there on that last time through. The bass went unka 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 unka, doing that slap thing. Love that the sixth one is called All Right Elp version. ELP. Interesting. Let's take a moment before we get to the next song and just say a big thank you to Alessandro. Thank you so much for your super chat. And Alessandro, also thank you for being an awesome part of this channel and commenting and voting and just being a really cool, cool, awesome person. Thank you so much for your participation and support. Yes, I will for sure check out Zelda. I do want to make sure I get Nintendo's blessing before I step on those shoes, though, before I do those reactions. So I'll for sure reach out and see if we can get a go-ahead from them. Uh, no pressure at all. We'll see what happens. Uh, completely respect them and their autonomy. I just have so much respect and admiration for Nintendo that I really want to make sure I get the okay from them first before I do any Nintendo games. I've been playing Nintendo games since I was a child, and of all the uh, of all the games that really mean a lot to me, most of them are Nintendo games. So I do want to make sure I do that one right. We absolutely will. Thank you so much for the super chat. This next one is called New Beginning. Tabla's in the left ear.
do want to give a quick shout out. Nintendo does have a Black Friday sale on, and oh my gosh, I'm not getting paid for any of this, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Spon <laughs> Let's plug this. Guys, I got Breath of the Wild uh, yesterday, digital download, and I'm so excited to play it. I have not played it yet, and I remember when the thing came out for like the Wii, which was like, I don't even know, 10 years ago? Crazy. So ready to play it, so stoked and ready to go. Uh, cannot wait to hook that up. Maybe that's gonna be what happens this evening. I don't know. Anyway, really stoked to play Breath of the Wild for myself. This next one is called Hawaii. <laughs> If you guys will bear with me, I'm gonna rewind that one a little bit. Yeah, okay, that guitar in the left ear. It's like there's, uh, there's like duple meter going on here. There's like that. Oh. And then that guitar on the left is going bop, bop, bop. No, see, I'm I'm even doing it wrong now. Anyway, go back and listen to it. That was a really interesting thing that the guitar started doing there in the left ear in that one. Very fascinating. This next one is called All Right. that guitar in the right ear doing those octaves. Next one is called Break It Down ELP ELP version.
This next one is called The Spirit. Uh. Oh, that was cool. Right there. Love the use of the tabla again here and in the last song. Love it. Love it. The next one is called What's Going On? Got guitar with wah on the right, distortion guitar pretty clean on the, excuse me, guitar on the left with wah, guitar on the right with the octaves. Can I be honest with you guys? I kind of wish I played guitar on some of these tracks. Like, it's so much fun. <laughs> Just fun tracks. Just fun, fun, fun tracks. This next one is called Sweet. Very lo-fi here, and the drums.
I really enjoyed that tune. It was very like, slow, relaxing, groovy. Nice groove. Uh, what was interesting was at the beginning, there was this almost lo-fi thing with the drums where they weren't quite quantized 100% perfectly, which gave it a really interesting feel. This section is called a Big Bang Burger March. Yes, very, uh, very marchy, that one. This one is called Triple Seven. And you really want to show it if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. I guess this one's called Crane Game. Reminds me of Mario. Umbapa don't go into gunk, don't shove up a daka, to gunk, don't sugar, don't go into gunk, don't shaka, kaka, to gunk. This next one is called Planetarium. Lost in Space. This next one is called Home Electronics Store. <laughs> Love it. Love that secondary dominant in there leading to the five, too. That was a lot of fun. The next one is Welcome Home, Master.
That was interesting. The second one is called Time to Repent. Shame. Shame. Resolve it. Oh, yes. Yeah, suspended four to three. Okay. When the cord is sus. This next one is called Destiny Land. This next one is called Tanaka's Shady Commodities. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that was a ton of fun, and what a great way to wrap up part two of the Persona 5 Reaction Live. You can check out part three tomorrow. Links for that will be in the comments below if you're watching this not live on demand after the fact. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Thank you so much to our super chatters and super sticker givers. We got to come up with a better name, but for now, that's what we've got. Please hit like, subscribe, that notification bell. You can become a channel member. Just click join and that'll be rocking and rolling there go ahead follow best music coach on facebook instagram and twitter check out our number one best-selling books in the description below and also 50 percent off your first music lesson at bestmusiccoach.com check it out thank you all so much chat shout out to you for being awesome thanks so much for joining me on this wild ride and i will see you guys next time